Alright hey guys, what's up? In this video I'm going to be talking about a cutting phase just because I'm going through a cutting phase myself for competition and I want to go over some of the mistakes that people make while cutting. Uh, the first main mistake I would say that people make while cutting is they don't make the diet sustainable. So what that means is they go for a diet that's really hardcore that they have to stick strictly to this regimen and after a couple of weeks mentally they can't handle it and they just fall off the wagon they end up binge eating and then they end up in a worse state than what they were in the beginning. Uh, the second one would be dropping your nutrients far too quickly. Like a lot of people will drop their carbohydrates all the way down at the beginning. Instead of doing that, you should drop your carbohydrates gradually. And then the only other time you should drop your carbohydrates is when you're stepping on the scale and you're not losing any more weight. Then you drop it again. If you drop it too low, what happens is your body goes into survival mode. For the first couple of weeks you'll lose weight, but after that your body will go into survival mode, your metabolism will slow down and you'll stop losing weight. Then your only other option is adding in cardio, if you've not already done that, to try and shift a little bit more weight. But eventually it'll get to the point where you've took your calories down that low, your exercise is high, that your body gets used to that and you'll no longer lose weight. Then after that the only way you can possibly lose weight is by going back up to a caloric maintenance which is the amount your body needs in a normal day-to-day -day basis to uh, retain your weight or you'll have to go on a caloric surplus which is eating more to put weight on just to get your metabolism back to a normal rate that it knows it's getting the amount of nutrients it needs so then you would need to do that and go back to cutting again but dropping your carbohydrates gradually so that you get the results that you wanted in the first place so the best thing to do is just start by dropping your carbohydrates gradually and this will happen by say dropping 200 calories a week so and then that's 50 grams of carbohydrates per week but you'll only be dropping that if you step on the scales one week and you notice that you're no longer dropping any weight another mistake that people make while cutting I think personally is that they make their diet far too strict they go, we need to eat the healthiest food, we need to be sticking to things like chicken, vegetables, rice, or brown rice, brown pasta, stuff like that. But what happens is you end up putting yourself in a diet where you don't like anything that you're eating, so it makes it a lot harder. So what I do is I follow if it fits your macros. Eat whatever food you want, obviously relatively healthy. You still want to get the basis, you still want to get in your protein, you still want to get in enough carbohydrates, fat from foods that are stuff like chicken, fish, pastas, rice, things like that, oats. But at the same time, you don't have to say I'm on a diet so it means I can't eat any chocolate or eat any crisps or eat anything like that. And there'll be a lot of people that'll, in bodybuilding especially, they'll get really angry that I've said that because they go through strict preps. But so far, I've been in a competition prep for four weeks. Well, this is the fifth week this week. And I've dropped a stone so far and all that I've done is I've took my carbs down gradually, as I say, but also I've just kept eating whatever food that I've wanted to eat. As long as it lines up with the amount of carbs, protein, fat and cal uh, calories that I have to have, I've just been eating whatever I want. So that is an option as well. You can do that. Uh, it's worked well for me. 14, 14 pounds in four weeks is actually a lot higher than what it should be. So if I can get away with it, anybody can but as I said a lot of people get really annoyed at that because they go through the strict prep and they believe that that's better uh, but everybody has their own opinion and that's what I've done and that's what's worked for me so guys the main things to take away is that you should make your diet sustainable so you stick to it you should only be dropping carbs and calories when the needs must be keep them as high as possible until you stop losing weight then drop them and third and I think most importantly is making sure that you're putting some foods within your diet that you enjoy so that it's taking away cravings so that you're keeping your sanity and so that you actually stick to it rather than going on binge eating and chucking it in the bin. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe.